This exclusive limited edition, commissioned by Heavy Transport Models, is in the colours of Feldmann, a Swiss haulage and craneage company. It's made by Conrad and comes in a typical Conrad box and includes the standard instruction sheet for this type of model. The various components are all well protected in black foam rubber and we'll have a quick look at the parts. The first out is the short four-line Goldhofer module. Next out is the Mercedes-Benz tractor and underneath that in the packaging is a bag of the many parts that you need to fully assemble the model. There is the gooseneck for the trailer and that's a heavy piece, it's nearly all made of metal. And then we have the main deck frame itself uh, which is uh, already pre-assembled to some extent and uh, it's extendable both for length and width and we'll see that later. There are some plastic deck panels which go into the deck frame and amongst the other small parts are some connecting pieces and there's a light bar for fitting at the rear of the Goldhofer modules. As with other Conrad tractor units there's a few parts to fit and the first thing to do is to separate them out with a sharp modelling knife and when you've done that you can start fitting them. The roof areas are a bit fiddly and probably need a bit of trimming to get them in the holes because they're slightly a tight fit. The door mirrors are a much easier fit and they just pop into place and then there's a final mirror to fit over the passenger side door. Assembling the trailer components is just a matter of uh, using plastic pins and uh, slotting things into place. Uh, sometimes the paint can be in the holes and therefore make things too tight a fit but if you just use a screwdriver um, you can remove the paint inside the holes and things slot together more easily. To connect the various pieces together you just join them up as shown here for the two module units and you just insert a plastic pin which uh, if you've got it lined up you can push reasonably easy uh, straight through and you can see that that actually produces a kind of a hinged connection that does mean though that you need to be careful when lifting the model up as the parts can flap about a little bit. We'll start underneath the tractor for the detail and most of the suspension and transmission components are there but there's no prop shaft from the rear axles to the engine because of the modelling of the steering. But the wheels are good with fatter tyres on the steering axles. The tractor certainly looks good with an excellent beacon light array on the roof and a light bar. There are plenty of small badges on the front and the wheel hubs look smart too. Although this exact tractor doesn't appear on the Feldman website, the graphics certainly look good. Strangely at the rear there are no lights or a number plate even, but the equipment tower looks pretty good and it's nearly all in metal. The Goldhofer modules are the standard Conrad part with the axle components all in plastic, but the tyres look pretty good. There's some detailing underneath the gooseneck too with some wheel chocks and hydraulic cylinders. And up on top the gooseneck has metal handrails and a textured surface. The detailing of the Goldhofer units is fairly simple with really just the Goldhofer name as graphics. And again at the rear the light bar is fairly simple with no number plates or beacon lights. As usual we'll give the tractor a roll on the test track and it rolls perfectly fine. The rear axles are typical Conrad with a bit of float uh, to represent suspension. The steering uh, is linked and does work but um, you can only get a very shallow lock before it starts uh, rubbing the wheel arches and therefore can't roll. But if you apply a bit of pressure to the um, front wheels you can get quite a hard lock on the steering so that's quite good for posing the model um, turning although of course you can't push it because the, the wheels just won't turn. The other feature on the tractor is that the cab will tilt and it goes forward to a pretty good angle and stays tilted so that looks all pretty good and there's a, um, a plastic engine underneath that you can look at. The functionality of the Conrad Goldhofer module units is pretty much the same for all of the uh, module sizes. Each wheel pair is controlled by a pretty loose cylinder which allows for up and down movement. And for steering a number of the axle lines are linked together. So on this six line unit the front three axle lines steer together and the rear three axle lines also steer but independently. So you can set the module unit to steer around a pretty tight angle. The main feature of this type of model is the number of different configurations you can have. So let's look at the possibilities. You could have just a four-line module unit. 
or perhaps just the six line module unit. Or if you want, have both module units. Or just the four line module unit with the deck. Or have the deck with the deck plates fitted. Or if you want to be silly, have all the module units at the end. Or have a module unit with an extended deck and deck plates. Or you can take the deck plates out and put some cross beams in. Or how about a shorter deck but with wider cross beams. Or have a wide deck with the widest cross beams installed. Or have the widest deck and also extend it to the maximum. Or just have a narrow short spine beam type of arrangement. Or you can go large on that and extend it out to the maximum length. So this model is very flexible and you can pose it in very many different ways. And it also gets impressively large at 67 centimeters or over two feet long. And if you put a suitable load on, it looks even better. This model looks very good in Feldman's colors. The detailing is reasonable and the features give it plenty of flexibility. It is highly recommended. Music